You are the final caller of the day. Sam? Yep. Michael from Miami. Michael from Miami. Long time no hear from. Well, pal, I want to see you in three days because I shall be in Vegas. Whoa. Wow. All right. We finally so, meet. Uh, I will give you a drink, buy you a drink, whatever. I assume without giving away the... Uh, the house hotel you're staying where the convention is located i assume correct i will be in the uh, conference room around there send me an email at majority reporters at gmail.com i will do that and then uh, we can uh, we can meet up i fly out tomorrow night and i think you said you do the same i'm guessing so uh, yeah uh tomorrow day so actually it's, it's the first time i'm going to do this but <clears throat> partners of mine have been bugging me to do this for a while since we've been invested for over three years in a couple of the products so i thought it was finally time to go out and see these guys they, All right. um, Without getting too boring for everybody else, it's inside baseball stuff, but they, they hawk the hell out of you. <laughs> they really do. I mean, they do the Lord's work, but man, oh man, it's it's like nobody's business. All right, um, down here, wow, it's been a while since we talked. I guess you know, uh, the Sanchez is going to win by double digits mm. or close to it. it. It may draw or closer, but my guess is somewhere in the 54-45 range. Charlie's just... He's such a played-out card. And you know what's funny? I disagree with a lot of the times that you guys, and I, I love listening to you, and I consider you kind of quasi-friends because even though I disagree with some stuff, you know, I like to hear the different perspectives, and it's articulately placed by you guys, especially Matt and Emma. I really like their perspective. But I disagree on some stuff from a progressive standpoint that I don't think would fly in the state. But this was a race where that may have been a perfect laboratory to try to see if that was the case. Because DeSantis has such a built-in advantage when it comes to media manipulation and, quite frankly, the fecklessness of the Democratic Party in this state, which is legendary, and you know, we've talked about it before. It would have been great if somebody, and I don't think she had the chops to pull it off, but if a Nikki Fried had been able to lock on to a couple of issues and just said, this is about abortion and this is about the economy, and that's all it's about. And how the hell do you get away, Governor, with taking the right, you know, the lives of 45 people and effing with them and flying around the country on our tax dollar, right. which, by the way, was interest money from COVID relief fund, if you knew that or not. You know, how, do yeah. you, how, how do you propose to defend that if and when they're ever going to do a debate? But no one was going to listen to her because she just didn't, she couldn't articulate it. And I think the same idiotic consultants that you scream about that are messing up Wisconsin are, are down here at, at work as well. So... It's, it's a shame. And now Val Demings is a different story. Matt, she's actually got a puncher's chance. Um, the debate schedule for them hasn't been locked down yet, but the ability of her ability to like differentiate, I know she's not the favorite of a lot of progressive voters because of you know, her background and her centrist tendencies in, in some <laughs> right. respects, although I don't think that's necessarily true all the time. But Marco is vulnerable. He can be beaten. It just takes the right combination of people to get out the vote to get it done. I think she, I think she can do it, but it's going to take a, like a perfect storm of things. You know, his, his nonsensical gun position, his ridiculous immigration position, that kind of stuff. And I think she's got a chance, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. She was doing those idiotic Marco doesn't show up to work commercials for a while, which don't work. Nobody cares about that. Right. And she finally transitioned over to doing a lot of stuff after Dobbs, which I think is helping her. So well, we'll see. let's hope so. I mean, uh, I, she is not my uh, she will not be my favorite senator in the uh, in the Senate. But, you know, uh, you know, sometimes you never know. But I, I think you get a sense with her. But like, you know, John Ossoff, I didn't think he would be that particularly good. And he's done some pretty decent stuff, actually, um, for, for someone from Georgia. And yeah. the the bottom line is. I know she's going to, um, she will probably be a vote for, uh, or, uh, you know, or create the, the majority for, uh, you know, uh, the filibuster reform at the very least for a couple of things. Oh, yeah. I would she's imagine at the very least for voting and for, um, you know, abortion rights. So, yeah, she, she's a, you know, you, you know, you're familiar with the Beasley uh, Bud race in, in North yep. Carolina. I know you guys have done something. Stuff. Tight. I wish she had run more of a race like that which I know isn't everyone's favorite because, again, there's a lot of centrist tendencies that you guys don't like, and I understand that. But I wish she had been a little more focused. That's the problem. What They sit here and spend all this time and money on a bunch of crap when most voters only care about two or three things. Right. Hammer that, that. You know, I despise those other guys. But they can stay on message like nobody's business. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. They just All you had to do is focus on, on abortion and the economy. That's all you had to do. 
you know, how has he made your life better? How has he not improved? Has he, has he gotten you property insurance, which God down, knows down here is a disaster, and especially after Ian, it's going to get worse. You know, mm-hmm. we, have, we have carriers pulling out of here left and right. And he, he proposes nothing. He'd had a special session. They talked about taxing Disney, for Christ's sake. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But they, they, just, they just always seem to be the Washington generals of the political game. They're just awful. Yeah, Florida, is, Florida Democratic it. Party is a disaster uh, I, by can all you explain, accounts. We're a 50-50 state, bro. Can you explain that to me? Has anyone on a national level ever been able to explain that to anyone that, that, that makes sense? I mean, I mean all, all I can uh, imagine is that there is too much money to be made there uh, with the media markets. And, and as such, you've got like, a, a, like it's a consultant class feeding frenzy mm. that is, you know, um, that sort of like just twisted things in Florida for too long. I mean, that's the only thing I can imagine. Well, what, 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 how are we different from Texas? I, I know well, Beto is a very strong candidate, and I, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on what. Gun to the head, do you think he can beat Abbott? I I I, I don't think so, but um, see, I, I think, think he can. Well, see, I think, I think what happens in Texas is that same issue with those consultants. So you get a lot of like in Texas. This is the year that Texas goes blue, and they they push that because. They, they raise money and there there's money to be made i mean i, I i'm it when you see fecklessness like this it's almost always because um consultants are in there just plotting a a strategy that will make them the most money that, i mean there's I, a that's, rumor that charlie if he loses he's going to challenge rick scott again in two years oh, who we already geez. lost two four years ago for the governorship unbelievable this is the stuff that we're talking about yeah. it's just Beyond nauseating. Anyway, Appreciate look, the call. A congratulations to your Giants. I think the Packers spit out the bit, but that's a nice start. Whoa. Um, hey, look uh, at that. I mean, well, look. The, well, we got to go. Well, okay. We got to go. Okay, oh, turn into ESPN. I'm going to talk a lot about it. Um, and Congrats. Right. See, I'll see right. you Thursday. All right. Thanks, man. Bye.